Doctor, let me ask you real quick. We talked about root canals a little bit. What are some of the reasons that people get those in the first place that, that perhaps starts this problem rolling? Fifty years ago, when I got out of dental school, you had a root canal done because somebody had elbowed you in the mouth. It, where I grew up, um, the only sport, no, the favorite sport was hockey. Well, I was almost as well. I was almost as big in junior high as I am now. So I became the goalie. Now I couldn't skate backwards, so that's another reason to be goalie. But, boom, mm -hmm. you get hit in the mouth with a hockey puck, and you need a root canal because you just killed the tooth. Or if decay burrows into the tooth, into the pulp chamber, and kills it, you quote need a root canal which is the beginning of heart disease, neurological disease, kidney disease, cancers, so on, all of these diseases, but we didn't know that. We should have known it because it was brought out first in 09, and I don't mean 2009. Back in 1909, Dr. Price, working with Mayo's, and Dr. Rosenoff there, found that, yeah, there are a lot of problems with root canals because if you had a person who had a heart attack, you could take out the root canal tooth and then plant it under the skin of a rabbit, and in a couple of weeks, the rabbit dies of a heart attack. So you take it out and put it in another rabbit, and in a couple of weeks, he dies of a heart attack. So you take it out. He would conventionally do this for 30 rabbits, and with heart disease, he could transfer heart disease through 30 rabbits 100% of the time. There were other diseases, diabetes and things like this, that could be transferred through the root canal. So that information came out in 19, 9, 10, 11, and in 1920, some major textbooks, big textbooks were written on it, which have had a, uh, a problem with uh, conflagration if you were in Colorado Springs, of course this was a little bit before your time when you were in Colorado mm -hmm. Springs, they had what was called the Antlers Conflagration. The Antlers Hotel whoop, went up in smoke in uh, just a matter of a few minutes. Uh, this, so I have been told, happened to a lot of Dr. Price's textbooks on the root canals. So he did a great job in talking about nutrition and dental decay, and those books are still in, uh, in circulation today. But the ones on root canals, uh, that disappeared. Why? Probably the liability. I mean, obviously there's the financial aspect to it. But in 1990, the Dental Association demand, uh, suggested that um, the dentistry do 30 million root canals a year by the year 2000. This was accomplished by 1999. When you accomplish a goal, what do you do? Set a higher one. You raise the bar, which is now, as I have been told, 60 million root canals a year. And dentistry is up to 40 million a year now, so they're on the way up. So why are we doing so many root canals? I think maybe a good term for that would be quota 